What's up guys, this is System Test 16. I'm going to show you guys some of the new stuff I've installed on the board the past couple of days. I'm going to share a short story about some of the alarms I got installed. And then finally, as we always do, I'm going to set it off and make some noise. So let's get right to it. So first of all, this is something new. This is a mock-up of a fire sprinkler riser and a water flow switch that would be mounted on that riser. Now I know this isn't perfect because obviously the pipe doesn't go anywhere and the water flow is mounted way too close to the directional fittings, but it does just serve its purpose to model what it would look like and I'm not sure if any other collector has done a mock-up of a fire sprinkler, but please correct me if I'm wrong because I'd love to see it. So this reports to the DMPXR500 and then in turn trips in the fire alarm system and I'll show you the module that allows that to occur later on. The next thing I installed is this Air Products and Controls Enunciator and I believe this was used for the interface between fire alarm panels and air handling units and I got this wired up to the security panel so it indicates alarm, trouble, and power on conditions as well as provides a switch for a sensor reset remotely from this device rather than using the keypad. Finally, this is a DMP860 relay module. This module ties together the communications from all three panels and it also drives the lights and the buzzer on the air products and controls annunciator plate through the annunciator outputs on the XR500. So for the alarms today, I went ahead and installed the same models of alarms that are at my high school, just for fun. And so all the older additions in the building have Gentex SHG horn strobes set on continuous, and then Firelight BG10 pull stations. Meanwhile, the newer additions have Wheelock AS horn strobes set on code 3, and Firelight BG12s. I've also got a system sensor mass and a Simplex 4040 up there because there is one section of the building, the gyms and locker rooms, where they had 4040s installed, they're left disconnected, and they're replaced by system sensor mass horn strobes. I don't have a horn strobe, nor do I have enough places on the board to install those, so they're just sitting there to represent it. So to change things up a bit today, I'm not going to be pulling anything. Instead, I'm going to set off the system using the water flow switch on the fire riser. So with the cover removed from the water flow switch, I'm able to access the lever that connects to the vein inside of the pipe. And so on the zone on the DMP panel, I have this set up for a pre-signal retard. And that may sound a bit funny. All that means is that just a short activation like that won't set off the system in case there was a change in water pressure or such. But when there's a prolonged activation of the vein, First of all, it'll sound a pre-signal alarm, and then 10 seconds later, it will go into full alarm, the DMP system will activate, and the main fire alarm system will activate. So, here we go. Pre-signal. signal So as we watch the keypad display, we'll see all the alarm conditions come through. There's the main fire alarm alarm on this panel, and then there's the fire riser. I have a little sign that goes with it that says riser number R12, but I haven't had a chance to install it yet. So we got the Gentex strobe still flashing, so now we're going to get everything all reset. Start off with this panel. So 
I don't have to worry about this re-alarming since this DMP is still an alarm because I set it up so that the output that activates this panel after the riser has been activated only turns on momentarily and then shuts off permanently until it is activated again. So here's the alarm condition as displayed by the enunciator. And now let's reset the DMP. And in a minute you'll see the alarm condition clear off the enunciator. And you heard the relay click off. And that's about it. Thank you guys for watching.